everybody. There's a joke floating around the internet about something called the Quarantini, which is, the joke says, an ordinary martini, but you drink it alone in your home. Well, I'm sorry, but when we're staring into the jaws of a viral pandemic, an ordinary martini just won't do. We need real medicine. So I came out to my research lab and discovered a better recipe for the Quarantini. I promise. I've had no more than five or six of these during the research phase. Now, the primary liquor for this drink is gunpowder Irish gin, which sounds kind of violent, but actually its flavors come from a selection of Oriental botanicals and gunpowder tea. And I'm using this because we all know tea is good for you when you have a virus. There will also be a hint a very peaty whiskey as well. Why? Because peaty whiskey tastes medicinal, you know, like uh, band-aids. <laughs> but don't worry, it'll be just a whisper. And for this we're going to use Connemara peated Irish whiskey to stick with that Irish theme. Now the real medicine in the Quarantini comes from a couple of liqueurs. First, there's yellow chartreuse. It's a blend of alcohol, sugar, and the essences of 130 plants and flowers. It was created and is still produced by the monks of Chartreuse based on an ancient manuscript given to them 500 years ago by a French nobleman, describing an elixir of long life. Then we have Saint Germain elderflower liqueur. And herbalists know exactly why elderflower has been used for centuries to treat swollen sinuses, colds, flu, swine flu, bronchitis, diabetes, and as a diuretic to increase urine production. Let's call that a secondary benefit for gentlemen of a certain age. <laughs> now lastly, there will be a touch of California's own via vermouth because this just wouldn't be a martini without it. And a twist of lemon because, you know, citric acid, vitamin C, good for your throat. So let's go ahead and make our quarantine. We're going to practice good bar technique here because this is a quarantine. So the first thing I'm actually going to do is I'm going to start with the Connemara whiskey. And we're going, what we're going to do is we're going to wash some ice with some of this peaty Irish whiskey. And by washing, all I mean is you take the ice, which I've already placed in the shaker, you add an ounce or so of the peaty whiskey, you shake it up, which coats the ice with the whiskey, and then you dump the whiskey out. Now, People who don't like peaty whiskey could dump that in the sink. Or you could dump it in the bartender. Okay. So now I'm going to take, I'm going to transfer this ice into a mixing glass where we'll make the actual cocktail. And I'm going to put in about two ounces of the gunpowder Irish gin. There we go. Yeah, that looks about right. <clears throat> then we're going to add about three quarters of an ounce each of first the chartreuse. St. Germain elderflower liqueur. Come on, medicine. There we go. Lastly, in goes just a dash, I'd say a capful, give or take, of the vermouth. Then we're going to stir that until it's good and cold. We have a casual beer too along the way. Hmm. 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. It's about the same as washing your hands. <clears throat> and we're going to string the cocktail now into our serving glass. It's almost magical how that works out, isn't it? And we're going to bring this out here. And I'm going to peel with just a vegetable peeler. We're just going to peel a hunk of this lemon peel. We're going to do it right over the cocktail. So some of those good juices go right into the cocktail. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add a little touch of smoke by breaking matches. Oh, no, there we go. There. Okay. So we're going to take this match, we're going to warm up this lemon peel, and then we're going to give it a squeeze. And then to pretty this, we're going to peel this thing up, pretty this twist up with a knife here. We're just going to carve it up, smooth it out. Yeah, there we go. A little there, a little there. And make a little knife, a little straight cut in there. Then we're going to twist that over the drink. Get some last of those little oils there. And voila! Here is the new improved quarantini. You know, you always spill a little in the research phase. Just a minute. Ah, that's good quarantini.